Hi everybody, welcome back to the Moose. I'm just going to do a little bit of improvising now. of um, my own cabbage down and then talk a little bit more about your own improvisations and uh, these rolls and left hand techniques and your timing as well. <laughs> So there was a little bit of uh, of my own improvisations uh, over the course of uh, Bilem Cabbage Down. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take that basic melody that we just went over and, and try to come up with your own version of, of the chorus over Bilem Cabbage Down. And um, again, just be cut conscious of, of of the melody first work with the melody and then come up with a simple version even if you're putting in pinches at first and then try to put some different rolls into it as well again as long as you get those quarter notes and eight note notes or whatever notes you want to use to fit evenly in the measure and your timing is correct even if you want to use a whole note to play through the whole measure that's up to you but I, I think it's really important that you um, that you try to work out a, a, a simple version of your own using whatever notes or rolls you would like to use okay and then one, once you become familiar with your own version and you start playing it then maybe you might be again starting on improvising other improvisations where you might substitute um, a different role in the spot maybe after you start playing it and also what I would like you to do is I would like you to come up with a version for the verse on this song all right and I'm not I'm not even gonna um, play play the verse by, of my by myself playing it I'd like you to listen to yourself. It's very important to listen, okay, to, uh, to try to pick out these melody notes on your own. So what you could do is you can go back to that very basic um, way I was playing and singing in the beginning and try to pick out the melody notes in that chorus, okay. You try to hear what, that, what the melody notes might be in that chorus and then try to find them on the fingerboard of the banjo. And you're going to be able to find them, again, right down here. And then once you find those notes, again, just by listening, do the same thing. Try to, uh, try to build on top of that as well. Let me tell you what the chords are uh, for the verse, for the verses in, in Bilem Cabbage Down. And they are, let me think about the girl that said, I had no rain, you rode them into town. Before I got my trading done, the buzzers ran down. So we have G, 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 G and D. G, G, and C, C, and G, D, G. Okay? So again, try to pick out the melody notes in the verse, uh, uh, the verses of um, Bile and Cabbage Down. And uh, try to work on listening to the melody notes and then um, creating simple versions on your own of Bile and Cabbage Down. Now, I'm probably going to be tabbing out a very simple version and maybe just a little bit more complicated version so uh, you can look at all the tabs um, for, for Bile and Cabbage Down and uh, 
I wish you the best of luck in your uh, first improvisations, everybody, with the melody and the uh, right and left hand techniques. And we're just going to keep it all going here. We've got uh, so much to cover. It's going to be a, it's going to be a continuing process because, again, uh, going back to the introduction. The process of learning uh, the banjo and music is a continual process. I learn things all the time. I work on my improvisations constantly. And uh, a lot of times I'll fall right on my face, you know. But that's the excitement for me of trying to, uh, trying to, trying to express yourself on the banjo. And uh, we're going to keep it going, everybody. So we'll see you next time right here on musicmoose.org.